My name is Todd Alexander and I'm the author of the new novel, Tom Horton. I've been writing stories for as long as I can remember. My first real job out of uh, university was as a bookseller and it was on the shop floor that I really fell in love with writing and storytelling. Tom Horton is my second novel. It's a book with two narratives. Tom as a 12 year old boy growing up in 1986 in the western suburbs of Sydney and Tom on the eve of his 40th birthday looking back at his life and wondering how he got to where he is today. The childhood scenes are essentially about bullying and the world of bullying that Tom encounters at school. To escape it, he decides to sink his life into a world of fantasy through old time Hollywood films. His love of films is something that he shares with both his grandmother and his mother. No need to worry about that, handsome. I told you to stop worrying about anything. I'm the parent, not you. It's my job to worry, and I will always look after the both of us. In the cinema, in the quiet, dark cool, I reached over to Mum and held her hand tightly. She squeezed it firmly and brought it to her lips. She leant in close to me and whispered, I love you. My other hand was tucked into my left pocket, lightly stroking the silver material that hid there. Nothing else in the world mattered to me as I sat watching movies with Mum. Tom Horton is a novel about a boy who is so determined to outwit his tormentors that he's making decisions that inevitably solidify his position as social outcast and this has an impact on him right up through to adulthood. It's challenging and confronting but at the same time I think it's poignant and there's some laugh out loud moments as well as the confronting moments. Yesterday's lipstick was just visible. She wore it even if she wasn't leaving the house and her toenails were chipped red. Forgot you were coming, she mumbled and reached for the Bloody Mary as though she'd gone to bed knowing it would be there for her when she woke. She took a long gulp and licked the chilli salt from her lips. Would have tidied. As you usually do, I goaded, wishing I had not. So, have you nominated me for Mother of the Year yet? I couldn't help but laugh. I don't mind cleaning up for you, Lana. The child is father of the man. And for me, basically what happens to you as a kid indelibly impacts who you turn into as an adult. And that at its core is what this book is about. People are very complex, lying just beneath the veneer of the people we're very quick to judge is an entire history of a person. And that history has shaped who they are today. And if we can empathise with that history and understand them just that little bit better, then our relationships will improve immeasurably.